to another video. Um, I'm Tori. Um, if you're new here, hi, hello, please subscribe. Um, if you're not, welcome back. Um, this is going to be a what's in my baby's hospital bag. Um, we're just using this LSU tote bag. Um, this disclaimer, this may not be what all we take. This may be more than what we take. So I'm just kind of going to see what I get to at my shower and kind of see what I want to put in and what I want to take out. But for right now, this is what I want because this is what I have. Um, there is a few things that is for sure going with me. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and going to go ahead and take some of this stuff out and just have it laying here. Um, I do have one of these little swaddle zip up, um, pouches. I don't really know what this is called. Let me see. It says a summer infant brand newborn. It's just one of those swaddle sleeves. Um, it's got little clouds, rain clouds and clouds and all that all over it. Um, my kids usually love to swaddle and watch this baby not like to swaddle. <laughs> um, knock on wood <laughs> if I had wood right here by me. Um, but I have that swaddle. Also for like pictures because there's a really awesome photographer that works at the hospital. Um, I have this little sleeve. It is a swaddle sleeve. If you see it's just like a bag almost. That you just kind of put the baby in and you can wrap it up in and tie it at the bottom and then you put the hat on the baby which this is a really big hat but from the summer ground pictures he's got a really big head so um we have this one and if you watch you'll see there's kind of a theme to the madness <laughs> uh, of this bag there's a lot of anchors boats and deer one reason why there's deer my husband is an avid hunter and then he's also a tow boater, so he drives the boat. So, and the theme for the baby is anchors. I like for his little area, his nursery area is anchors. So, we have that. And also, if you watch my um my hospital bag video, you'll see that I have a hospital gown that I'm going to be wearing after I have him. Um, that is match that matches his little shirt, gown, whatever, and it has the little hat. I'm sorry guys, I had a doctor's appointment and I was in there for three and a half hours today, or longer, and I'm, I'm tired. Um, but this was a cute little, um, it's a mud pie, it matches the hospital gown, um, right here's my hospital gown, so it matches. I will be getting these, um, probably monograms, uh, I just gotta get it done. Um, let's see, I have a bunch of burp cloths in here and stuff and just like spit up things because my youngest daughter I didn't take a lot of that kind of stuff to the hospital and um she had really bad acid reflux so I am going to take that this time um I also have these two because in the hospital I mean babies spit up they have blowouts they have all that so I have these cute little um, onesies, they look exactly alike, except one of them says Daddy's Little Man, and one of them says Mommy's Little Man. So, or one says Mommy's Little Guy, and one of them says Daddy's Little Man. So, they're exactly the same size, and everything, same colors. But I do have those just to throw on him, you know. I um, also have this little onesie. It's got little trees and stuff on it. This is just extra stuff, um, in case I need it, which I don't think I will end up needing it probably, but you know how that goes. So I also have this little outfit. I want to make sure he gets to wear this stuff. It has a little um, monkey on the booty and it says little brother. Sorry guys, the lighting in here is terrible, but it says little brother. You can't see that, but I need to invest in a ring light, but I just hadn't had a chance. But that says little brother. Um, show you this. Make sure I got the whole thing. Yeah, okay. So we have this outfit too. And as you can see, like I said, it's got boats. It comes with a little hat. And it also has the matching blanket. My mother-in-law bought this. thought it was adorable. I love all the colors of all this stuff. So mostly in his bag is clothes, just about like mine. Not that we'll need them, but 
um, I wanted just to have it just in case. Um, I have the handsome little fella uh, one piece. I, you'll notice I have a lot of one pieces um, in here because he will be born in the winter. So, and I also have just an extra, an extra blanket. It's got boats and stuff all over it right here. Um, I also have these match the little sailor stuff, but there's it's a pack that has just the navy blue, the white with the boat, and then just the striped. And then I thought this was really cute just to have. It says, pick me up, darling. I love older chicks. And I just have a cute little pair of jeans and a cute little joggers. So, I have that. And I probably just going to have a kid in her crying. So, just give me a minute. She's staring at me. As I see all this stuff, I do know that I have way too much in here, but that's okay. This could end up being my last, so why not overdo it a little bit for the hospital? Nothing's your fault, sweetie. Um, I also have some little shoes, which, leaving the hospital, I may put them on him, but I don't know which pair yet. So I just have two little pairs. I do have knitted, little knitted socks. Um, we do have a pappy in here for him, and, um, oh, I do have this. Oh, I'm so excited. I forgot about this. Um, it's Batman, sweetie. I have a Batman has arrived sticker, and I'm just going to put it on like a white onesie. It has Batman socks, and then a little bow tie. Batman bow tie. I thought that would be cute for some of, like, the newborn pictures that they do in the hospital. That was just a little extra. And then I also have some socks. Because, of course, it is going to be winter. So, I wanted to make sure I had socks in there. Um. I also have, I am fearfully and wonderfully made, a little burp cloth that I'm taking. And then I have an LSU burp cloth that I'm taking. So, that's about it in here. Oh, this is adorable. And this is his going home outfit, which I didn't think about it. It actually has... Oh, it don't have feet, so it'll be perfect for the, um, other. This is actually what my husband, 28, and it'll be 28 and a half years ago, he wore this home from the hospital. So, I hope it actually will see it, and, um, <coughs> I hope you'll be able to wear it. Um, we also have, I know you're probably like, where's the blankets? Um, we have swaddle blankets. Two swaddle blankets. I don't know if these came from either Walls, Belk, TJ Maxx, Burks, or Ross. One of those. I think it was Ross, to be honest. But, um, we have that. And then the last thing in here is going to be this. This is very emotional for me. This is the last thing that my grandmother will be knitting or crocheting, whatever you want to call it. Um, for a great grandchild, she has the shakes really bad. She's really old, um, and she said that she would not be able to make any more. So um, I took the girls with me. She made the girls both some, and um, we took we took those to the hospital with us too. So I made sure to bring this to the hospital with me as well. This is like really dear my heart so that is what is in the back for baby boy this is it i mean i know it's fat and big <laughs> but um like i said it may end up it may end up changing uh, some of it may over time we have four or five weeks left so um yeah but i hope you enjoyed this video um i do like i said in my other one i in my other video of my bag I have um his little wipes and stuff like that that I'm taking for um like to wash him and stuff with it's the Johnson's um pre-soaked are you okay <laughs> it's the Johnson's pre-soaked little rags because I mean I like to wash him up and stuff in the hospital make him look cute you know before somebody comes so 
that's what we have in this guys i hope you all have a wonderful new year's and i will see you all in my next video bye guys bye, bye.